Hi and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing The Expanse. This is Season 2, Episode 3 called Static. And yeah, uh, it was really an eventful episode, the last one. Um, we got the whole assault on this um, station where they found uh, Dresden and these scientists working on whatever they're working on um, with this proto-molecule, this alien thing that's been sent to our galaxy, um, to our solar system, to, yeah, something. Uh, and then they were trying to figure that out. And uh, all of our um, our crew and, and Fred Johnson, everybody, they they assaulted the station, as we said, and, and tried to acquire this, this data. But uh, Miller ended up shooting Dresden in the head. So... Where does this, where does that leave um, everything now? Is uh, is my question at least, and mm. I'm sure we will figure out how they're going to proceed in this episode at least. Mm. And uh, yeah, so do you have anything to add before we start the episode? Nope. Alrighty, here we go then. You Oh yeah, it's the uh, base they were talking about. Mm -hmm. The mask base? Yeah. All 17 people in the station were killed instantly. The massive explosions shattered the moon. Ooh, and they the are probably very mad now. Can you imagine what it would be like to lose the moon? Our moon. To never see it in the night sky again. It's not the same from Mars. Demus is just a little dot. Same as Venus is to us. This could be our last chance to win, Christian. It's like you always said. Earth must come first. Oh, yeah. That ship got shot up a little bit. Yeah. It's gonna take more than a couple of band-aids to get the Rossi back on her feet again, you know? The Rossi's the least of our goddamn problems now. Leave him here. Hey! I don't want him anywhere near the prisoners. He won't be. Now get these people to hold them. Oh. 15, guys, man. Holden is mad. Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop here. Well done. Come on. I'm a gun bag. Nope. Did kind of screw up. Mm -hmm. I'm half expecting Anderson Dawes to show up there. <laughs> so I'm dipped in shit right now. <laughs> oh no. This shit is permanent. Captain always gets a little jumpy when you kill people without talking it over first. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you would have asked for permission too. Because the way I figure he's probably right. Sure as hell has a better chance of being right than I do. Died. We nearly died. And Miller just. He got you out of Eris alive. He shot an unarmed man right in the head. An unarmed mass murderer. Yeah. He was gonna talk. We could have used him. We could have what? Worked out a deal with a man who casually murdered countless belters. And that is why Miller shot him. He didn't have the right to make that decision. But you do. <laughs> you a hero, man? No, don't say that. Hey, just a cop. A cop. A guy. No, you're not. Who used to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you electric. I like you. Mm, you wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you stay with me. Yeah. You wanna bust now? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you're a Martian, right? You still got people there? didn't reach out? They think I'm dead. I went down on the Donager. Died a hero. It's an Earth-based biotech contractor with facilities throughout the system, including the one destroyed on Phoebe. Get in there! Oh, shit. Well, they're not totally harmless, the scientists. No. Dudes. We need you to make a vaccine. Why would I want to do that? I understand you grew up in Lindrina on basic. That must have been hard. Watching your mother die. Type C Huntington's disease is just so ungodly cruel. 
Her brain was fried. She didn't think anything was wrong with her. It's different on Eros. Dresden is gone. You don't have to answer to him anymore. If he were here, I'd thank him. He made me what I am today. No, he doesn't seem brainwashed, but... Go back one minute. Run it again. What, what's he looking for? Oh, that's what they're... Blowing off steam? Yeah. Squash, but without the bats. Bats. <laughs> we should hydrate. Rack it with some beers. Racquetball. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. This is the new banger, fresh out of the arrows. No music coming out of arrows. We make it here, but it come from there. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Eh? Come from Eros. You know, in those innards, you figure out what's on Eros, they kill every last one of us to get it. Us? Belters. Beltaloda. Really burning out some steam. Well, he wasn't born this way. He was altered. Part of his temporal lobe has been effectively erased. Which part? The part that governs empathy. You can do that with a magnet? I've checked the other prisoners. It's been done to all of them. Security guards on that station were armed with riot bullets. Well, he's not a homicidal maniac. He just no longer has the capacity to consider any life other than his own meaningful. Is his condition reversible? I'm afraid not. How do you reach a guy like that? Today, Miss Ask, because... Did you tell me how Private Travis ended up with a fractured orbital? Sir, did you ask Private Travis, sir? Don't give me that gun. The sooner we have it out with Earth, the better. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. We're Marines! And we serve where we are ordered to serve. Now, you and your team will carry out your orders with pride and dedication, befitting soldiers of the Martian Republic. Are we clear, Gunny? Yes, sir. Dismissed. Is this what I hope it is? A secure channel to Fred Johnson? Yes. Give it to me, please. Interesting. Right now, this is just a bad idea. But you hit send, and it's treason. If I do nothing, millions could die. Please, give it to me and go. There is no need for us to hang together. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they'll hang us separately. <laughs> You'll get a better view. <laughs> I'm asking you for help. Anything I can use to turn the guns of Earth and Mars away from each other before it's too late. I never thought I'd see the day. Think this is for real? Yes. She risked a great deal for this. If they learn that you're helping her, the OPA will put a hit out on you. Well, then I guess it's gonna have to be our little secret then, huh? Secrets, secrets, secrets. Mm. Amos is gonna talk to him? I was on Eros. I saw Julie Mel. Have a seat. And there she was. Naked as Eve. Dead. Beautiful. Beautifully dead. Two stage pumps adapted from hearts, and at the very center, a seed crystal that requires and provides a massive amount of energy. That's why she smashed the lights and the screens. She was trying to take away his power source. I know what it looks like. What was it doing? Please tell me what was it doing? Talk to a pedophile? Uh oh. We try to ask you, you're not going to just talk to kids, but if you show them pictures of kids, then they'll go on and on and on. 
You were talking about stopping it, taking it away. That's why he wouldn't help you. That's TV station. Amos is definitely not stupid. That's the Martian science team. A whole station and 100,000 people. 100,000 opportunities. We can only learn by letting it learn. Can you control it? I'd need my data and everything coming off arrows. That's the only way I can tell you more. The cylinder will be sealed, and after the initial acceleration, the body will begin to spin. All this will be farmland. Shit. You're welcome here. We can offer you salvation. Boy, it sounds like just what I need. It's coming directly from Eros. Now, I've heard that streaky shit in bars. I thought it was just bad music. It's new. Give it to me. Are those people talking? Not people. Pulses. Steady like a clock. Counting down. Building. Something. Building what? We're going to find out. at all what the fuck is this <laughs> like johnson maybe god damn it <laughs> he's still going at it alex 25 people on that pod we lost you saved amos and we lost 25 people because i made that choice next time i'm gonna save them all Take it, this means you know where you want to go? Eros, and you know we have to destroy it. I think you're right. Dresden was going to get away with it. And I didn't kill him because he's crazy. I killed him because he was making sense. Mm -hmm. Any idea how we can take out a whole asteroid? Yeah. With that. No. Oh, that's why he wanted to learn about the ship. Yep. Miller, Miller, Miller. Okay, another episode with a lot of information. A lot of information. Uh, yeah. oof. You wrote some stuff down, so uh, let's go off of your list because everything is all over the place in my head right now. Um, yeah, I started yeah. with uh, just noting that um, Aaron Wright was, I think it was, it, he sounded almost like careless about uh, the moon. Um, uh, and, and oh, then was, uh, Mars is uh, like the, the moon that they blew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. that was the their moon, Damus? Demus? Yeah, Demus, yeah. Um, well, I understand because it's probably smaller and probably not uh, okay. the only uh, moon. moon. Yeah, yeah, maybe a little further away. Uh, yeah. And then, and then, Christian is like, "Yeah, but remember, just think if it was our moon and we would look up to the sky and we would, it wouldn't be there." And I, I was just like, "Well, we need the moon for other stuff than just to look at. Mm. We need it for." Um, it's, uh, it, we need it for tide waters <laughs> yeah. and we need it for, it's gonna well, seriously fuck some shit up on yeah, earth and, if and, we and lose the moon. <laughs> and women's cycle. Yeah. And the moon is responsible for a lot of biological, uh, events and phenomenons. So it, I just And geographical was, events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's just... Yeah. I just felt it was just a little bit careless brushing off, like, oh, it was just, uh, and then we didn't have the moon. It was yeah. to look Imagine at. Imagine if we didn't, could, if we couldn't look up at the moon anymore. Because that's not the biggest <laughs> problem about losing the moon. No. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, can't be nice to lose a moon no, either way. Definitely. Even not. though if Mars had more than that, it's uh, yeah. yeah, still sad. Sad. They blew up the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. We had some uh, a talk between uh, Amos and uh, Miller mm -hmm. uh, in the bar, and I just thought it was that Amos 
I don't know. I I really like him, even though he is as you continuously saying that he's very black and white. But mm. I still think like he 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 is very aware of that. Yeah, he's yeah, very self aware, and it's just with his whole. Uh, I know I'm probably not doing things rightly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Holden is probably a lot more right about things than I am. Mm. So I just think it was. Uh, I think it's it's just so amazing that he's. He, it feels like he's very self aware that he's. Uh, he, how, why he or just the the, the way, way he, he is? is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The maybe, yeah, he's very aware that like he's maybe not the sharpest tool in the shed. He's um, but maybe he the can strongest. be very quick to pull the trigger. Um, he doesn't always know exactly what's right or wrong, but that's why he he follows Naomi uh, now Holden because he figures well at least they probably know what's up more than I do or they know, know better what's up uh, mm. but he did a lot of good this episode like he helped a lot um, just by his own yeah by like was... no one told him to go in and talk to the scientists for example like, no no and it's um, figured that out I think he, he was he, it felt like he was a lot of uh, he was building bridges between uh, the different people mm. uh, so he built a bridge between um uh, the the crew the Rosinante crew yeah and and Miller where he was just uh, I understand why you did why you did yeah yeah I, I know where you're coming exactly. from I'm just maybe not agreeing that it was the right thing to do and then yes and Holden is mad at you because Holden is the way he is and but yeah, I understand yeah. your exactly, situation exactly exactly so that, he was so, just yeah. mending fences here mm. and as you said with the with the scientist with mm. that has been has he had has had his uh, temporal lobe uh, tempered with yeah yeah so, uh, so he he lacks empathy yeah I'm not really sure if that's completely true if if the science supports that one hundred percent but. I would have to look into that, but it was uh, it was just interesting, mm, and maybe it's, once again maybe it's something that could happen in the future that we can also brain uh, chemistry like that or just like brain uh, Touch. like neuron uh, the new neur- neur- neuronal networks within our brains and yeah. the innovations and stuff. It, well, it was just uh, yeah. interesting and. But it's kind of still a little bit scary to think about being able to just turn a switch on and off on your brain. Well, well, then... you can clearly only turn it off. Yeah, yeah. Well, turn, turning it off, like if I w- I would want to keep my empathy, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> but the thing was that Amos, I think it was very good of him. Like you, you ask whether he, oh, maybe it was Amos was like that. Maybe he had his own temporal lobe uh, also as well, but he was just trying to understand, okay, how can I go about this person, mm. a person without empathy? Oh, well, then he found the, the, the science route that, of course, this guy thinks this science is everything. Yes. So, so why not go that route and make him talk about the science exactly. in a way that, uh, that he wants to talk about it? And I think that was... Uh, a very uh, nice and good observation by Amos. Exactly, and, and and what he said about his past, where where they were talking, it, it was a bit of a, not, an exact correlation between scientists and pedophiles, but you no, know, no, it's, it, it was, was just the method, the method about it, yeah, um, yeah. what it learned him that okay, these, that they're obsessed about something, so if we want them to talk, then give them give them some of that stuff that they're obsessed about, just mm. let them. Let them have their drug, man, just a little bit, and then they will be more willing to talk. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, he made he made a good decision there. Um, yeah. It was a great uh, Amos episode. It was a really good Amos episode for yeah. Once again. For certain, <laughs> once again, all all episodes are good Amos episodes. <laughs> yeah, but much. some are better than others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then I just uh, wrote uh, "sudden" with a heart. Is uh, "sudden" is the uh, uh, Martian uh, commanding officer or whatever. Oh, uh, for, the, for that uh, squad we are following. Yeah, with a uh, gunny gunner. Yeah, angry. That gunner. that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I just every time he speaks, I think he's so wise, and he's just so. He's like you know, I wish I had a grown up like that in my life that could tell me exactly. Yeah, yeah. Things he's... like that because it he it, it feels like he has such a, uh, uh, he has a great empathy and he's a great um. Uh, perspective mm. um, way of 
uh, viewing things. Yeah, and, and he's good at controlling this, these troops and good at talking to them, good at like taking them down a notch when they mm. need it and, and giving them sage advice and, and kind of making sure the situation doesn't spin out of control. Yeah. Which is probably a, yeah, something that's, if, yeah, I, I, I'm afraid for him now because <laughs> if that yeah. situation is going to spin out of control, then he probably needs to be taken out for it to be, to spin out of control and stuff to happen. Because yeah. cause something's waiting to happen there because we haven't really, we've just been following these Marines for a little while, uh, for like three episodes now, uh, while they've been talking back and forth and, 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 and Gunny in particular has been complaining that they don't see enough action or they don't get to attack Earth. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I just, I like the way he speaks to them, mm -hmm. or at least to Gunny. Like, of course, he, once, in, once in a while he, ha he has to uh, put some boundaries and say, hey, mm. Marines, stop. Yeah. It's not okay. But I think the way he speaks to Gunny is... Um, it's very human. Yeah, and it's not, it, it feels like he's not looking down upon her. No, he's, he's trying to help. Yeah, he's right. trying to leveling with her and, yeah, and yeah. trying to, of course, explain his opinion mm. and his point of view and other people's point of view. And yeah. I think, and, and I, well, she, once again, she reminds me a lot of a teenager because she's very uh, narrow minded and very selfish. And even though it's a good cause she's fighting mm. for, it's still so um, aggressive, um, and relentless yeah. or ruthless. So it's, it's like you're not taking other perspectives of other people into account you're only yeah. looking out for yourself and and i think that's what we learn when we grow up mm. it's we learn that there are other people and they have other perspectives than you and you're not the only person in the world and i think i think that's and um, yeah and that's what he's there for he's trying to teach her perspective and gr mm. to grow up and yeah, because he's not saying that any of her feelings are wrong no. or any of what she's thinking about um, about Mars and what they've been through and this whole like focusing on military instead of terraforming, all that stuff. Like, he's not saying she's wrong about that at all, but he's just trying to channel her energy and, and, and her passion for this in a better way direction better direction that's better served for her as well because mm -hmm. yeah of course he doesn't want an all-out war he knows what it's going to bring and there there are better ways to go about this and and i'm sh he just wants to help her realize that and and there are other ways to to help your people and to realize this dream um even though what you're saying is true mm -hmm. uh so so yeah he's uh seems like a good guy yeah. Definitely, um, but yeah, I'm 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 waiting for something to happen in that storyline at least something some some snap something big, because um, right now it just um, uh, well th they're, they're not the my favorite people on the series at the moment. But once something happens and they're forced into some kind of situation, I'm sure we'll learn more about them and we'll get maybe some more facets of them other than this angry teenager kind of thing yeah well i think where it's leading it's uh, we have things escalating mm -hmm. and i think something's gonna happen to the martians that make them go snap and then it's gonna be all out war mm, um yeah. at some point i've also written spy guy with a heart um oh um Christians, uh, yeah, spy I'm, guy, yeah, I kind of like him as well. Yeah, he's uh, he's very smart, I think, and he's uh, and also the he was continuously telling Christian to, well, it's here you go, but this is risky as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and and you know what you're putting on your on yeah. on the line here, and and I think it's I think he was very cute about it. Well, we're gonna be hanged together then yeah yeah but you're gonna exactly. have the better view but yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah we'll probably be hanged separately you'll get the better view yeah um that was a good one and and yeah it seems like she's just she isn't just 
his boss or someone who hired him. Like, like there's some sort of friendship there, at least, or some sort of connection where they at least care about each other a little bit. And she smiles, like, and, and you can see it's not like this diplomatic po- politician smile. It's like this, she seems so genuinely Human. enjoying yeah, his yeah. company. And exactly. It's like, well, um, when she sp- spoke with the admiral, he was like, you're the worst person I've ever met. Mm. And this this spy guy, he was it was just it just felt like yeah, and I, I, mm. I know it's a shitty job you're doing, and it, I can maybe feel your soul and know where you're coming from, and know you're gonna trying to save millions. Yeah. So this is why we're doing this, and this is why we're getting hanged for this. Yes. And we will, Even and we though will we're take doing, that. doing the right thing, but we will take it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I like that guy as well. Um, even though I, I totally forgot that actor was in this show because uh, another show I know him from is uh, Spartacus. I know you haven't seen that. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, you saw some of it? Yeah, but it was not. Oh, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't imagine you enjoying that too much. But yeah, e- either way, he, he's playing a character in Spartacus as well where he's just the fucking worst. So every time I see him, I kind of think of that character instead of who he actually is on this show where he's kind of likable or who he is. So it's just, um, I just get flashbacks to that stupid ass character sometimes from Spartacus. Um, yeah. That, yeah. Just a quick... Uh, Quick thought there. Do you have anything else on, on yes. your list? Um, yeah. The whole Miller going to the church with the yeah, Nabu. Yeah, Mormon uh, church there. Yeah. yeah, and this whole building they're doing and it's very cute and everything. And obviously a little bit, it's kind of out of character for him because he's so definitely not... Interested in this. Religious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so, yeah. Uh, but, but the thing is, with this whole Nabu they're building... I just got some very strong uh, Hyperion vibes. Uh, Hyperion <laughs> is a uh, it's another sci-fi book hmm? uh, from a guy called Dan Simmons, um, and they are also they also have this big flagship with a huge. Uh, I think it's a huge tree. Like uh, I think it's maybe the flagship is even called Yggdrasil, Icrys- uh, as in Yggdrasil, mm, as in uh, the world tree. The world tree in the mm. Norse uh, uh, mythology. Mythology, yeah. yeah. Um, and I just think it was uh, there was some really uh, uh, kind of uh, the same vibes and mm. with this whole flourishing garden and stuff. Yeah, and it was... some of the same stuff we've seen in Mass Effect once again, like some of the ships they have there, the Citadel. Some of the ships they they go to Andromeda in in Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So. But yeah, it's always nice with this with this series that it's it's drawing inspiration from so many different mm. science uh, science fiction works. Um, the bigger one, the smaller ones, both books and movies and uh, uh, games. Games, and maybe even yeah. It's TV a, it pays and... a lot of respect to to the genre as a whole, mm. and that's definitely one of the reasons why I'm enjoying this show so much. Me too. It's just as yeah, you probably know about us. We just love sci-fi and fantasy, and this show just encompasses just a lot of the stuff that we really enjoy about that stuff. So, mm. Ooh, really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, and um, that whole um, well, we got to know a little bit more uh, about Miller and exactly why he shot the guy. It wasn't purely revenge. His, as he said, he said it was more like, well, it made sense. What yeah. he said made sense. It wasn't because. What he said was wrong. Like it was, was because it was he very was starting true. to make sense that he shot him. Yeah. Um, and yeah. and maybe it's well, it, it, well. So he said that, but it's still. I don't think it's very clear exactly what he meant. I th- I think what he meant was the part about he was starting to make sense. What the the sense that he was talking about was that he what Dresden was talking about was using this organism and try to study it and figure out okay how can we incorporate it into the way we live and better our lives in some weird way and Mm -hmm. maybe evolve as humans into something else that could live in space and we can be our own gods and all this stuff Mm -hmm. where what miller probably saw straight away was okay if this guy is left to do what he wants to do in any way or capacity then this might be a reality. I do not want this. I don't want. I don't even want to take the chance 
to figure out what th- what this stuff is about. Mm-hmm. I just want to destroy it, yeah. so we don't have to deal with it. And I'm sorry to do this again, but clear connections there to to I, I'm I'm sure they haven't taken it fr- from Mass Effect because it's from the books, but it's just in Mass Effect there's the um, the elusive man um, and and Cerberus, and they oh. want to take. The Reapers and their technology that's coming from outer space somewhere to destroy us. He wants to take that technology and incorporate it into humans. And he wants to use it. Yeah. Where, and you, yeah, if you've played Mass, Mass Effect, you know all about this. So it just, there are definitely some similarities there for me where I can see, I, 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 can, I can start to see why Miller... What Miller means and why he might have thought, okay, I need to shoot this guy fucking now, because mm. that's not that's just not happening. And if he starts to convince the other guys that this is the way to go, fuck no, I, this is not going to happen. But again, I understand this from a from a scientific point of view. I yes, understand. yes, and then there's that as well. Because, because yeah, well, once again, we don't know who sent this. We don't know. Mm-mm. So. Um, maybe they send it as sort of a uh, probe, probe maybe, or like a, a sort of a, uh, just uh, trying to eradicate potential life. Mm. Um, and, and but hopefully, well, maybe they send it to eradicate us. Yeah, and they didn't um, take into account that maybe we could actually uh, evolve with it. Mm. as we're trying to or the scientists here are trying to because it's it's in our uh it's in our um mindset like our instincts that we want to survive everything Mm. and the way we need to survive is by adapting and evolving and if that means that we have to figure out a way to live in symbiosis with this kind of thing Mm -hmm. um, maybe even let it take over some of our uh Physiology mm-hmm. uh, changes yeah. potentially. Yeah. But what I do question is, I don't, I don't think we can actually um, morph into one being, no. um, just like in an annihilation and and Mass Effect. If and you, Mass Effect. If you choose the the, the, the green, green ending, ending yeah. you get synthesis, <laughs> and if you get choose the blue one, then you get what Dresden wanted, and if you choose the red one, you get what uh, Miller is trying to do, destroy. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's just the uh, similarities. It's just too uh, obvious. They that. they are very obvious. Right so it's it just so. So the Reavers are coming, basically. So I I'm, I think <laughs> right now I think we are I'm I'm mostly on Miller's team. Um, cause, destroy. So yeah, because I do not uh, in even though if we I don't think they are ever gonna crack the code and how to not going adapt to this it, to our, to us. Yeah, it's too risky, man. It's just. I think we, if we if we let this thing adapt on and, us, yeah, it would it would take over us. Yes, and we might not we, even be in in charge of our own, like if we. And then we would get eradicated, or maybe we got into like an an AI situation or something like that, that we were yeah, suddenly yeah, yeah. becoming machines to these to this being entity, just or a whatever. workforce or something. Yeah, yeah but it's. Uh, we're gonna find out. We maybe? definitely are. It's uh, yeah. I'm really enjoying this uh, like just just show overall, of course. But this second season so far, and is, we heard uh, it's only gonna get better. And it's yeah, it's on. That's yeah, that's what you guys have been telling us that it's just gonna get better and better and better. And um, wow, yeah, I just can't wait. Um, can't wait till, for the next one. We yeah. get to the next one and the next one and the next season, and then. Hopefully at some point we're caught up and we can watch season four with all you guys as it comes out uh, weekly. So oh, that's going to be so exciting. Uh, yeah. Do you have anything else to add to this nope. episode? It was that the whole thing. That was the whole thing. Yeah. All the notes. Perfect. Yeah. All right. That's going to do it for this uh, reaction and yeah, review kind of of uh, Expanse uh, episode three of season two. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you as soon as possible. Bye. Bye.